Hi guys, so um, this is a quick update on Trinta Lakes and how I'm doing. Um, this is my second week on it on 5 milligrams. I want to note that I started having pains after a week of taking it. Uh, my stomach started hurting really bad. Like in the morning when I wanted to take uh, the medication with water. So I started having severe stomach aches. Like to a point where I have to bend down and um, literally go through the pain because until the water basically passes through my um, stomach or whatever. Um, so um, I started reading side effects and I read that supposedly trinchalics can cause, um, it can cause, let's say, um, Diarrhea, it can cause, uh, what is it? Yeah, nausea and other things, lots of things. But um, for me, opposite is happening. So basically, I have severe <laughs> constipation on top of it. I'm gaining a pound a day, as I said before. This is ridiculous. This is really bad. This never happened to me. And I am not eating anything extra, anything um, that I used to not do before. And um, actually, yesterday I was doing some research on thyroid and hyperthyroid hyperthyroidism and hyper and something high thyroidism sorry about that i'm not even sure yet but all the symptoms that i'm having actually weight gain not being able to lose weight um the depression anxiety uh lack of energy um pain here as i mentioned before that i'm having lots of pain right here or whatever that is i'm having my pain is right here so i have to go to the doctor i have to actually get checked for that because apparently um i tried three antidepressants and none of them work sorry um so not that they don't work but or maybe i have to wait long enough but I also panicked that, um, I also panic. Sorry, my dad is calling me. So basically I was talking about uh, how I was feeling. I stopped taking Chinchulix for um, three days in a row because of my stomach pain and constipation. However, my depression really, really got bad. In those three days I started feeling super low energy I started feeling um, sorry I started feeling um, no energy I didn't want to get out of the house um, so basically my anxiety was so bad I couldn't talk to anybody and then another thing I um, realized one thing I realized is that when I was taking the uh, Trintolex, when I was taking the Trintolex, after a week, as I was saying, I'm feeling great, I actually, first time in my life, felt how, um, what do people mean when they say, do you have suicidal thoughts? I mean, I I used to think, oh, it's better. It would it would have been better um, if I did, was not alive. If I didn't have my kids, uh, what uh, would I do and stuff? Um, that I would not have any meaning to live and stuff. But I actually never had the feeling of locking up myself in a room and didn't even care about my kids at one point and I said um I called my um let's say should I call her 
my ex mother in law and I asked her if she could please watch my kids for that day because I was not feeling well. I just wanted to lock myself in my room and actually didn't want to get out of my room and I thought it's going to be over once they're gone, they leave the house. Um, I think luckily my ex-husband, he said he will come pick up the kids around 3 p.m. But it was not until 8 p.m. So it was five hours later until he came and he picked up the kids. And during that five hours, I actually um, spent time with my kids. And um, I slept, I got up, I fed them, I dressed them nicely, very, very slowly. And this is, I'm talking about like, while I was on Trintolix, probably I was around about 9, 10 days on it. And um, I got so anxious at one point that I uh, ended up calling my mother-in-law, my (laughs) ex-mother-in-law. So, if she can, um, if she's home, I can even drop off my kids and come back and go to my room. But, um, at that moment, as I was saying bye to my kids, um, I kind of, something stopped me. And I'm sure, um, I'm very religious, I believe in God, by the way. So, I... I something just told me you know what it's the medication that you're taking it's not you it's not you it's the medication you gotta stop taking it so uh, I came home and that day mom my mom actually was at her friend's house so she kind of forced me to go there just to get out of the house because I think she felt I was not myself that day Uh, her friend kept calling me and I really like her and I as I told her I will come I will go to her house I I hang up the phone and I came to my room and I said I'm not gonna go but then she called again and again and I ended up going which thank God that happened otherwise I don't know what could have happened to me I was um, in my room after I dropped off my kids <sighs> and uh, that, that's it I'm gonna sleep I'm not gonna wake up maybe I don't know, my mind was crazed up, basically. I thought, um, that's it, I'm not, um, even if I don't live, it's okay, because my kids are safe, um, I just don't want to wake up, because just leaving, breathing, um, going through my day is so painful, you guys don't understand how painful, um, my days can get sometimes like so I stopped the next day when I realized that those are suicidal thoughts and it's the it's the um, it's most likely it's a side effect of Trintolix so um, yeah I did not take um, the next day. Actually, I did not feel anything. I was feeling great. Um, Just because I got out of the house, I had two students to tutor them. And um, just the thing is, everything was getting on my nerves. I was not smiling. I was just more serious. Um, I was just going doing what I had to do, basically concentrating on the tasks I had to complete. My kids were not with me the next day. So, um, after two days, uh, my kids came back and you guys, this is really affecting my life because I was not able to tolerate the smallest things they were doing. And I would, instead of getting angry at them, because I used to do this long time ago, like years ago, when I just got divorced, I just was not myself at that time, and um, 
I promise to God that I'm not ever going to get mad at them because it's not their fault that I am so anxious. It's not my kid's fault that I am having this mental turmoil. And I said that to myself every Sunday when I went to church or every time I was at the church, even during the weekdays. And I promised that my kids, it's not their fault. So every time when I get mad, I have to, uh, so basically, go to my room and some kind of breathing exercise or just detach myself from them in order to calm myself down instead of taking my anger at them, which is so super difficult, especially when your anger starts rising the minute they do something. that you think is wrong maybe it is not even wrong but you think it's wrong or it's annoying or then my son is chewing gum really loud and it really bothers me and um i realized that while i was i was on zoloft it did not bother me at all and my son uh, he already knows so his son sometimes when he used to chew next to me uh I said, uh, Michael, he's like, Mom, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. You can chew. Just close your mouth. But I was not as anxious or as uh, mad as like the past couple of days. So my point is I stopped taking Tintralix for like three days in a row. Then I realized um, like something is really wrong with my mental mental state or whatever and yesterday and today yesterday I took in the morning when I started feeling very anxious when I started actually arguing with my mom for no reason she told me if I can go to Armenia with her and I started like screaming at her saying don't you know I don't have money da, 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 da. instead of just being calm and say oh mom I can't like I would have done it like right now since I'm on it and it's only five milligram so um, the point I want to make for this video is that Trintolex helps me to kind of concentrate to um, I don't know it kind of energizes me or calms my nerves down but I have this heart palpitation where um, my heart is really racing really fast and uh, like right now as I'm talking it's like I feel like my heart is racing I can actually feel it here and um, it's so much better than Zoloft minus the fact that I'm having suicidal thoughts and I read that if you're having suicidal thoughts you should stop and consult your doctor and hopefully one of these days I will go to my doctor yeah another thing I realized with Trintolix is that my sleep um so bad I can't sleep at night I can't sleep at night um and during the day I can't sleep because I have so many things to do so in the morning I end up sleeping around like let's say around 6 a.m. 7 a.m. then I kind of buzz out and fall asleep then I wake up at 10 a.m. and there's not enough sleep for our minds to rest and um, it bothers me so this is another thing I will talk to my doctor about and yeah I have to go to see my doctor and maybe ask him to check my thyroid and um, maybe switch medication, raise the dose because there's no lower dose than 5 milligrams in my opinion. I don't think there would be because he started me on 5 milligrams. Anyhow, there is one thing I wanted to read from this antidepressant books before I um, close the chapter. I'm going to read it anyway, so I will read it with you guys. It's my first time reading it, so sorry if I make any mistakes. So, um, this is chapter 1, a uh, continuation of the other video I made for the introduction about the antidepressant fact book. Okay, chapter 1, the meaning and purpose of depression. 
For many centuries, people have sought to overcome depression through both medical and psychological or spiritual means. The use of herbs, for example, St. John's word, goes back at least to the mid Middle Ages. The use of religion and other spiritual approaches to depression goes back to the origins of humanity. Approaches to depression go back to the oh yeah, origins of humanity. Before written history, human beings conducted ritual burials of their dead that helped them deal with the painful feelings caused by bereavement. Bereavement? Depression is obviously part of the fabric of human experience, but what is it? Depression is a psychological state and an emotional response to life. In particular, it is a feeling of hopelessness and despair that's often accompanied by self-hate and safe blame. Seriously, I hate myself so much when I look back and I realize I have not accomplished much and safe blame. Yeah, I blame myself a lot that I've been lazy. I should have just got out of the house and I should have just ignored all the people in my life and I should have just took care of myself. But hold on a second. Um, These feelings can vary from barely pers uh, perceptible to overwhelming. They can last for moments or for a lifetime. Moments, hours, um, or a lifetime. Most people have experienced some degree of depressed feelings at one time or another, usually during and after great frustration, disappointment, or losses. Many have felt blue or sad for a significant portion of their lives. Usually, these feelings um, go away with time, improved circumstances, and new approaches to making a successful life. Yes, circumstances change me, my behavior, my... Uh, mental state, my mood, yeah, it does. Uh, unfortunately, some people end up feeling trapped in an um, endurable, depressed state of mind, feeling that they do not deserve to live or that they have no viable options for happiness. They become emotionally paralyzed and suicidal. Seriously, this is what I've been experiencing a couple of days ago and the days before. Uh, taking medication seriously and it's been an ongoing thing with me in desperation they will accept almost any kind of treatment that offers hope of relief yes i was so against taking antidepressants until i had i really needed help for the sake of my kids other people seem to live for many years or most of their lives with lingering feelings of sadness that never seem to go away so, um, mild feelings of depression are a part of routine living, but even more painful feelings of depression are common. Surveys indicate that 1 in 5 people at some time will experience a depressed state of mind that noticeably impairs their ability to enjoy life or to take care of themselves. Although there is good reason to distrust these surveys, they are usually conducted for the purpose of promoting biological, psychiatry, and drugs. They nonetheless reflect the reality that many people feel depressed at um, one time or another. Indeed, feelings of depression are even more common among adolescents, the elderly, women, and other vulnerable groups. Feeling depressed plays a significant part in the lives of many, if not most people, at some point in their lifetime. So, what I understand is that many people do experience um, depressed feelings, one, time on another uh, during their lifetime but I think it becomes an issue when a person lives with these feelings uh, for a longer period of time where they see no way of getting out feeling trapped and um, I just want to share something really quick one of my friends visited me from Las Vegas a couple of days ago and she said oh my gosh um, uh, like you're Hugging yourself in your room and disappearing from our life um, t took you so long than other um, uh, people that I know. So you're taking longer to get out of that state of um, mind. However, I can't do anything about it. But hopefully, the, with the help of the medications, 
with the help of me doing some research and trying to cope with this by myself. Okay. And um, I will be able to get out of this. One thing that really makes me happy um, is um, going to my ex-husband's house with his family. They are very fun. I feel some pressure with them. Uh, but it's me. But I change completely over there. I um, am constantly wanting to do something, want to be helpful, and people are appreciative. So I feel so good about myself, and I am not sure. So that thing really, um, that situation helps me. I'm thinking it will, I will be able to get out of my um, mental state when I go and visit them more because they're very open to. Um, they really, they really want me to go there and stuff so this is my experience this is what i go through and maybe my divorce affected me a lot um and having this sense of loss in my life um put me down in this state and now i'm kind of coping with it but again i'm taking under the present and um i'm very thankful to god i have that help and um, hopefully it's not going to do more damage to my body, gaining weight, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for watching. I'm running out of time. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I will try my best to post more videos. Sorry if I don't. That means I'm sleeping and I'm not in a good mood. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.